Back in 2021, Royal Enfield presented its first 650cc cruiser concept, the SG650. It flexed a standout barber appearance, usually unheard in the sub-650cc segment, creating an instant buzz worldwide. Then, RE debuted the Super Media 650 in 2022 instead, leaving the SG fans scratching their heads. Not anymore though, as your wish for a 650cc barber has finally come true. Enter the 2024 Shotgun 650 RE second 650cc cruiser and fourth middleweight offering after the Interceptor, Continental GT, and Super Media. There's plenty to like here, be it the funky aesthetic, trusty engine, or modern features. One look at the shotgun and you'll know it's targeted toward a younger audience than the Super Media. Up top, you get our East staple LED headlight, now housed in a chunky X-shaped nacelle. The nacelle houses the LED turn signals and joins hands with a curvy front fender. In the middle, there's a new peanut-shaped fuel tank, much more compact than the Super Media's bulbous teardrop-shaped unit. Not only does this look smaller, but the capacity has also reduced to 3.64 gallons, 0.5 less than the media. The tank seamlessly integrates into a barber-inspired single-piece saddle, which then paves the way for a beefy chopped rear fender. Don't fret, RE also has dual-seat variants in store in case you like taking along a pillion. Bringing all of it together are the likable color options, attention to detail and set of features such as the semi-digital circular instrument cluster, tripper navigation with Google Maps, LED illumination all around, USB charging port, dual channel ABS, adjustable clutch and brake levers. Under its new aesthetic, the Shotgun 650 draws power from Royal Enfield's renowned 648cc parallel twin engine. It belts out 47 horsepower and 38.5 pound-feet, identical to the Interceptor, Continental GT, and Super Meteor. I've experienced the mill on the Interceptor and couldn't help but sing praises, it's that good. RE has made no claims about the engine tune, suggesting the torque curve, delivery, throttle map, and gearing are all identical to the Super Media 650. As for underpinnings, the shotgun is built around a double cradle steel chassis. It relies on Showa separate function USD forks and dual shock absorbers, both non-adjustable. This, along with the bi bray braking setup, is reminiscent of the Super Media 650. The big change though is the wheel size. The shotgun rolls on 18 by 17 inches wheels, unlike the Meteor's 19 by 16 inches combination. To no one's surprise, the sportier wheels also alter the seat height, wheelbase and rake. In the meantime, the surprising bit is the SG's 529 pound curb weight. It's just 2 pounds less than the Super Meteor, even though the former is more compact and holds less fuel. More importantly, the heft is nearly 140 pounds higher than its Japanese contemporaries. With its official unveil done, Royal Enfield will soon launch the Shotgun 650 in North America. Once launched, the Shotgun will lock hands with a handful of motorcycles. Being a roadster-like cruiser, the Kawasaki Eliminator and Honda Rebel 500 would both be its key competitors. Whereas, the 649cc Vulcan S and Honda Shadow 750 are ideal rivals segment-wise. What are your thoughts on the new Shotgun 650 from Royal Enfield? Let me know in the comments section below. If you liked this video then smash that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.